Hi friends, come in. Hello and welcome to the House of Ghosts. <laughs> we moved into this house over one year ago and I am giving you a full house tour today. I usually do lots of mum content so if you are interested in like clean with me's mum hacks, and things like that, makeovers of this house as well, and you want to be part of the renovations because lots is coming up, then make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button as well. And if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up because I do these in my spare time and work full time as well. And basically I'm a mum, it gets busy. Without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Where you are now is the porch. And basically we haven't done anything to it really. I think we took up some uh, old floor, but there was ugly old floor underneath that as well. We've not touched the walls, the like shoe box is overflowing. There's loads of like painting and like paint brushes, wooden bits and random things for decorating in that corner there. But essentially, if you come through, this is where the big stuff happened. Basically, let me close the door and explain to you guys that we had a house that was fully pink it was patterned it was vibrant pink in most of the rooms it even had leopard print carpets in my son's room so this is the one of the first places that we started with hall stairs and landing painted it no took off the wallpaper off first painted it um did the skirting boards even did like the pink I always forget what it's called, coving at the top there. Um, we got new carpets because the old ones were absolutely disgusting. Um, so we're very happy with it. We also got rid of like the old flooring that was underneath here and added a runner, but the floor underneath the carpet that was there is actually perfect. It's Australian rubber wood, I believe. We thought it was mahogany at first. Either way, they're both very expensive wood. So the fact that we have wooden flooring that we didn't have to pay for is unbelievable. We're going to sand it down and make it absolutely lush. At the moment, we've just added a runner to it and we also did the living room. So I'm going to show you that next. So this is the room that we wanted to get done for Christmas and we are super happy that we did it. We spent most of our weekends here. We had to say no to some like like um, family things that we wanted to do just to make this work in time. And we did it. We basically ended up taking down the wallpaper, painting it, so priming it, painting it. And the thing is, we also had rewiring done. So that was a big, huge job that happened summer last year. But the fact that it left so much dust, so much, so many holes in the walls was absolutely mad. And actually we did most of like the covering up ourselves. We did a lot of the things DIY because we didn't want to spend thousands of pounds on decorating. We're young-ish, we're able, and basically we wanted to get done as much as we can ourselves to save on a bit of money to do the bathroom, which I'll talk about later, and to do the extension as well, which I'll mention in a bit. But basically here we went for something neutral, something that we like, and you'll see tints of green around here as well. We absolutely love it. We didn't touch, or we didn't get new sofas just yet, but we do plan to in the future, hopefully. Um, but as you can imagine with kids and stuff, they don't stay very clean. So lots of cushions, lots of covers on them, things that can get washed very easily. Overall, we're so, so happy with this room. So let's go to the next room. This is actually a room we haven't touched. We've not done anything major to it because we know that we plan to actually get rid of the wall over here, which is connecting to the kitchen, which I'll show you in a second. We did add some furniture pieces to it, so like a nice table and chairs, which I'm hoping will fit in really nicely when we've actually got the, the extension. We plan to like move back into the garden. I'll also show you the garden, but basically make like a huge open plan kitchen living space, which we can't wait for but we'll have to wait a couple of years for at least in terms of money so basically this room we mostly use for playing with so we either play with Aiden here so lots of toys and actually the other thing that I do is I work a lot on this corner here I just enjoy looking out into the garden I love 
um, seeing everything outside those patio doors. It's so pretty. Also the sunshine, it's really warm, but it's a very lovely room. I think what we're gonna do is potentially take up the flooring before the extension, just because the carpet is just not practical when it comes to family life. We basically killed it. As soon as we've come in, a week later, it wasn't itself again. And we tried to clean it using the carpet cleaner uh, and it worked for Christmas for about a week or two and then it got stained again. Um, so yeah, basically this carpet gotta go. <laughs> Anyway, that's about it for this room, I think. It's very strange in the sense that we found out during the rewiring that on the side, there's like some fake walls on either side of the chimney breast. So we're not quite sure what to do there and we're going to have a look at our options. But if you've got any recommendations, do comment down below. Anyway, let's go and get to see the kitchen. So kitchen, guys, this is a small, old fashioned, breaking down even the drawers don't close anymore and some of the cupboard doors are falling apart luckily my husband was able to like fix it up a bit but essentially we have lots of things that we need in here to make it work for the next couple of years we've got the dishwasher which we find super helpful we've got the washing machine obviously plugged in and everything and we managed to get a new boiler as well so that is super awesome but basically it's not great in the sense that there's not much worktop space. It's very ugly. If you wanted to see my ugly kitchen tour, do so. I've made a video on that. Um, so the only thing that we are doing is putting up with it, making it practical until we can spend the big bucks on the extension and the kitchen of our dreams. Cool, so let's move on to the next part of the house, which will be upstairs. And then we'll come back downstairs for the garden. <coughs> I am very happy with the hall stairs and landing. As I said, we had patterned wallpaper, it was pink, and I'm just so happy to see it go and have something a bit more us, a little bit more neutral. My friend called me vanilla and she's absolutely right. But my son's room is actually the opposite. It's full of color. It's absolutely lovely. We've This was the last room that I've done makeover wise. So let's go have a look at it. This room has been transformed. It had leopard print carpets. It was pink and white and goodness knows what else. And I am so happy with the hard work that we've all put in to make this so beautiful. It's full of color, it's full of personality, it's full of sentimental items and gifts that my son has received or we have received or things that I've created. If you want to see the bedroom tour, I've done that recently so I'll make sure to link that down below for you guys. But basically we wanted something practical. We wanted lots more storage for my son's toys and clothes. And that's exactly what we did. Plus some areas for him to play, to read, to sleep. So that to make it into a big boy bedroom so that he's more likely to sleep here during the night as well. Because as you know, toddlers love to come into our bedrooms, into our beds during the night. So that that's a really good way to encourage him. So fingers crossed, it works slowly but surely, right? So we're so happy with the environment. It's so much fun and we've already been playing here daily as well. Okay, so that was my kid's bedroom, but let's go see the master bedroom now. So this bedroom is a little bit more on the darker side because actually we're south facing. So this room doesn't get much sunlight, but as you can see, we've also neutralized it. However, I've not finished painting it. I did do part one of this bedroom. So I've primed the walls. I got rid of like the wallpaper that was here before. We just added like a super king size bed here, which is like a dream. We've absolutely been loving it. And I want to upcycle some like the chest of drawers. I want to update some of um, the wardrobes as well actually I do have the things to do it is just finding the time to do it we also want new flooring here as well so part two is definitely coming up soon guys but join the list you know the list keeps growing which is a little bit annoying especially when you're working full-time you've got a child so we will get there in the end but 
absolutely loving this and actually this room was probably the most neutral when we first moved in and uh, probably that's why we don't mind it too much it's actually really clean and tidy as well the lady before us who had this house was luckily very tidy and clean so I just ended up adding some curtains to this as well a lampshade that we absolutely love too so a bit more to do in this room but that's coming Great, so the office is next, and that's bedroom number three. Hopefully you can see me a little bit better this way with the sun shining through the window, but basically this room started out the ugliest with like horrific wallpaper, horrific carpets, like all patterned, all like brown and dark. And yes, we're only halfway there. I actually started taking down the wallpaper because I got so sick of seeing it um, and then moved on to my son's room. So I will come back to this room and do some more DIYs and actually transform this room as well, no doubt. So in this room at the moment we've been using as storage, which isn't like great, but you always have to have a room in the house where you can dump stuff into, can't you? But at the same time, I know that uh, we both, so my husband and I, we work from home a lot, if not most of the time. So this is another space where we use to go on our laptops and do the calls and stuff. And especially if my son is at home, you can't be doing any calls downstairs. So this is the place where we hide out to do some zoom calls <laughs> not much else to show you guys excuse the traffic outside but let's move on to the bathroom and the wc i recently did a clean with me in this bathroom so if you wanted to see it a little bit more closely or you really love to see old-fashioned mushroom brown bathroom suites or pink toilets and sinks then that is the video for you guys <laughs> basically we've put up with this bathroom for over a year now and luckily i'm happy to say that we have put a date in to knock this wall down square off the bathroom so that the landing does become a little bit smaller however we get a bigger bathroom space to make it more family friendly this is not good for a family it's very old-fashioned it's very uncomfortable the places aren't really thought out much there's not much storage so I'm very much looking forward to to just having a bathroom that we can enjoy and love and actually not be ashamed of. <laughs> when I say it's not practical, what I mean is that we don't even have a shower curtain. So we've got a shower, no curtain, we don't have a barrier like we did in the old house. So all the water and everything goes onto the carpet. So another question, why would you have a carpet? But I know it's like a 1970s, maybe even 1960s, like designs and, and color and, Basically, we don't like it, we can't wait to change it, and it will be changing soon. I will actually show you guys the designs in another video, so if you want to see that, do subscribe. I'm also going to show you the makeover of the bathroom as well, so yeah, tune in, guys. So last thing to show you is the outside. I want to show you our garden. It's big, and that is why we are trying to do the extension outwards. We've got plenty of space to work with, and we absolutely already are making the the most out of the outdoor space we absolutely love it so let me go and show you I'm just hiding out in the shade for you guys so that you can see me better but do excuse the mess that you might have seen just now um, we are trying to go to the dump sort out some bits some bits are actually my dad-in-law's that he has kindly helped us out with like creating a back door for the garage yes we do have a garage but there's no point of showing you guys because it's like a dark abyss <laughs> um, but basically as you can see this garden is huge and um, we have done so much with it we've got a swing in it we've got a uh, trampoline and we've actually put a shed in the back as well that was one of the first things that we did apart from putting up the fence as well actually um, because we had a dog back then but basically the shed was to just have some place to have storage because we didn't really know how the attic was gonna work because there wasn't actually any boards on there or anything 
so um, we basically ended up putting a lot of like Christmas bits and like any storage things that we want in there in the shed so that's space but basically there's like bushes or row of bushes that we've got here that we are going to get rid of and sadly also the magnolia tree behind me too because we want to do the extension and apparently the roots could take up so much moisture that you'll need to do like a different structure and pay a lot more money basically for that so we're going to get rid of that um see how that works out and also the bushes and extend the back to make it into an open plan like I've mentioned before. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, do let me know and I hope to come back to you in a year's time and actually we would have done so much more as well. So thanks for watching, bye.